Hi friends, welcome to Scratch It. My name is Anahita Manoj and in this channel, I'll be teaching you how to make games and much more on Scratch. So this is my first video and in this video, I'll be showing you how to download Scratch. So there are two ways to download Scratch. The first one is use it on web and the second one is use it on desktop. So to download Scratch, you'll need a link. The link is Scratch, yeah scratch.mit.edu slash download so I'll share this link down in the description so you can just click it and when you click it you should get the screen or you're not using any of these OS so uh, you can choose your OS right down below here mine is Windows 10 so I'll have it Windows 10 mm, uh, so there, there are the steps over here to download it. So I will go for direct download. Uh, if you want to download it from your Microsoft store, you can download it from the Microsoft store. So click direct download and it'll be downloading right there. Then in the time it downloads, I'll show you how you use Scratch on the web. You need to click this button to create one and it will get you the screen so you'll have this tutorial that comes over here first if you like it you can watch it after afterwards so for now I'll close it so this is your scratch screen this is the sprite this is the stage these are the coding blocks and there are much more which I'll be teaching you and telling you so uh, in my next to next or uh, next video so um, be ready so I'll just leave this leave yeah so mm, yeah and I needed to show you these these are the older versions of scratch this is scratch 1.4 and this is scratch 2.0 in 2.0 you will not need Wi-Fi net anything like that to get this downloaded and in this mm, the older one uh, you will need um, net Wi-Fi. It's the same with um, Scratch 3. You would not. It's an offline editor. You'll not need net Wi-Fi or anything. So I see it's downloaded over here. I'll just click it. It's opening. Loading. Yeah. So when you click it, you should have this screen, and you can use your user. Um, like if everyone is using this computer, or if it's like everyone is using the Scratch, or uh, only you are using Scratch. If you are only using Scratch, you will need to set a password. But I'm keeping it for anyone who uses the computer. All users. So I'll just click the install button right here. Yeah, it should have this screen. Uh, do you remember seeing the screen somewhere? So this screen was there right over here. See, it should have this screen. Don't you remember this one? Doesn't look similar to this one. So this is the second step. Third step, um, we'll see after it becomes loaded. So let's keep waiting. Yeah, it's finished. So we can just click finish. Finish click. I've clicked finish. It'll take a while to load. See, it's loading my mouse. Now, uh, there'll be a blinking option right here. You can click it and you'll get the screen. See, wasn't this the ditto same screen you had seen on the web? Well, there's a difference in this and I'll show it to you. See this, the scratch project name bar? That is not there over here. We can go for create, reload a project. See, it isn't there over here. So this is the only difference between those two, right? Um, you can just minimize it over here. So thank you friends for watching. Please do subscribe, smash the like button and do comment if you have any doubt about um, this video. So bye guys.